Okay. Now we are here for the punching section. Uh, from the our punching section, we have two kind of function. Eh? So this one, uh, this is panel punching and bus bar punching. That is the our two function for this uh, punching section. Then uh, I will explain to you how to install the mold and also how to put the marking because we have two kind of uh, functions so we need to put two marking for panel punching and bus bar punching we have also here the LED uh, spotlight so you can use for to, to put for the spot for the material then you can see properly the LED flexible okay. and we have also two kind of jig jig guiding bus bar here this one so I, will, I will explain to you this one this one is the jig guiding bus bar you can punching without marking by using only this our jig guiding bus bar this is the right side and left side we have also from the front side by using the scale okay this is the our scale from the throat throat of the punching section the handle lock you can open like this okay, you can adjust what you want huh? okay. this one and now we have also control box same same for the cutting section we have also power key on emergency switch motor on and manual switch also and we have also pedal switch also here this one huh? okay Then we have also here in the toolbox, you can fix all your punch and die here, huh? in the die and also punch. Okay, and we have also machinery toolbox here. Okay, okay then I will start now to fix the bus bar punch and die. Huh? I'll fix this 14 mm punch and die. This is the die, and this is the punch. Eh? Okay. So I will fix first this one punch to the shaft cylinder using the using this the Allen key handle. Eh? You can tighten this one. This one. Or die hole there. Uh, if you can see, it's very important. We have guiding stopper here behind. So when you're fixing the die, should be touched from the stopper. So you can see the alignment of the should be correct the alignment of the die. Then you can take this four screw here. Then one. die hole there and we have here uh, this is the guiding pin because the our dies we have a guiding hole from the die so you can put there to guide from the pin huh? so I will fix now show you yeah, should be correct the our die so yeah, you need to push push properly then type the two screw here one, two, okay, then before you, before you pick, uh, after you fix the punch and die, you check the alignment first, should be the punch is uh, uh, just one mm only, enter from the die. Punch is entered from the die, then you can use this limit. Okay. Okay, then you have to setting this one, the uh, our adjustable gates through the limit switch. So I mean to say your punch and die is on only that much can 
can travel. Okay, my limit switch. Uh, this is the limit switch inside. Okay. And this is the, our travel steel. Travel guide. Okay, then you can fix it. Then you can try whether it's correct or not. Okay, one time. Check again, one time. Okay, that's correct. Eh? Okay. Then, after the alignment of function is correct, then you can fix now the permanent marking. So, I have here the bus bar sticker bus bar punching Try fix now Ok, then we have you have a bus bar marking there, eh? bus bar punching marking. This one, bus bar punching. Uh, then after pa fix the Marking, then I'll fix you can fix now the our bus bar stripper. This is our special stopper. So we have also auxiliary stripper pad. Hmm? So you can use up to 18 mm punch. Eh? the two to screw both sides you need to slot here one and another two hmm? okay then we can type using the allen one, two, okay. Then you can pick, uh, you fix the bus bus sticker. Center, center pin. If you have a marking of your bus, then you can use the center point. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Then I show you how to punch in this one. Center point, for example, this one. Punch now. Okay. See? Like that. That's for one by one punching. Then I show you how to punch it without marking. For 100 mm. For example, this 100 mm. I will make a four hole. One, two, three, four. So standard is 25 here. 25 here. So the distance is 50. Okay, so I will show you how to punch. So I need to set the our big guiding bus bar. First, you can set here from this front. You can set 25. You can apply. And you can see the 25 is there. 25 here. And also here is 25. So equal. Both side 25. Okay. 25 there. Okay. 
Then this, the right, uh, right big guidance bus bar. You can set a. Uh, here is seventy five. Huh? Okay, this is seventy five. Seventy five. This is the hundred. Then you can set seventy five because twenty five you required. Right. Okay. Right. And another one side. From this left side, you can set also seventy five. Correct, huh? Type properly. Okay. Then you can start now. You can start now punching the under the men. So I show you. I just put the bus bar like this. Alright, that makes it a little bit more. Guiding here from the front and guiding here. So then I I will start to punch. I'll show you. One, on the other side, two, very easy, just uh, just one second, huh? about two seconds, punching, so this 25, 25, 25, 25 also, so you can then already two, huh? so I show you. Twenty-five, see from the center, okay. Twenty-five. Then on the other side also is twenty-five. Correct. Then is this fifty. Correct. So accuracy. You can see the accuracy of the bus bar. Then I will make now uh, another two. So your setting is also same. Then you can adjust the front scale. This one. So twenty-five. You can set uh, 50 also. 50 plus 25 equals 75. Huh? Okay, then I will set here 75. Lock it. 75. Huh? You can punch now. One. So you can then pour hole without marking by using the our jig guiding bus bar. Okay. Correct. Then I will show you how to change the punch and die. Eh? First, you need to remove the Auxiliary stripper pad, this one. Huh? So we have a uh, Allen bolt hub behind. We have screw here. We need to lose this one. Then okay. okay. remove this one. Auxiliary. Then you can remove this one. I hold there. Okay. Then this pull. Pull down. Okay. Then you can take the die. Should be your your <coughs> motor is up hmm? for safety. Die. Then next is punch. Okay. the another punch for example this 12 by 15 I will show you how to fix so from uh, for this our oblong punch and die we have two kind of position this one and this one like this same die 
dice like this like that okay so I'll fix like this eh? so first punch show you to fix okay slap slap allen wall lock properly then die and push properly lock Then uh, after you fix the auxiliary stripper pad, you check first if the alignment is correct. Okay, the alignment is correct. Then you can fix now the stripper pad. Hmm? Punching this one, for example, oblong on. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you can see, our stripper is very strong. They can hold the bus bar properly. So they can punch easily and properly by using the hour stripper okay